Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Sweeps, we're going to be talking about all the shows that I am currently watching or did in fact watch in the summer on the premium channels. That pretty much includes HBO and Showtime. And we've definitely got some interesting stuff to talk about. We've got a show that's currently going on right now in its eighth season, and that of course is the Showtime show Shameless. The Gallaghers are back, and it has definitely taken an interesting twist. I think that when it came to the last season, it wasn't one of the best seasons that I saw, but it did involve a very big landmark moment for these characters, particularly Frank, played by the brilliant William H. Macy. After the death of his wife, the one that basically gave him all of his Gallagher brood, she is gone. And now, all of a sudden, Frank has had an awakening, and it is finally time for him to be something that I don't think any of us would have seen coming. A fucking model citizen. The Gallagher kids once again seem to be going in a positive direction, especially Fiona and Lip. I am blown away by how Carl has turned out in this show, and it is so nice to actually see the youngest, Liam, finally having a speaking role in this show. We're definitely in for a roller coaster because so far we're four episodes in, and we have had some very funny episodes with a lot of interesting things to discuss. Everything that involves breaking up with relationships, helping people reach sobriety, as well as running away from meth dealers. Yes, that is a crazy thing to talk about, but that is what makes Shameless such a great and crazy show. So if you haven't started watching Shameless yet, I believe you were able to watch it on Netflix. I don't know if they have dumped the show yet, but you can definitely check it out on demand if you, if you have Showtime on your cable provider, and I couldn't stress this show enough. The next show I want to talk about is the latest season of Ballers. It was the third season. I am so impressed to see this show still going strong, and of course it stars Dwayne Johnson, so how could it not be one of the stronger shows? And once again, I always appreciate this show because it goes behind the scenes into the world of professional sports. And this time around was an interesting season. It wasn't a really good season for me. I think it was the weakest, but it involved a topic that actually took place in the sports world, and that was the relocation of the Oakland Raiders to Las Vegas. It was very interesting to actually see Dwayne Johnson's character, Spencer, be a part of trying to bring the team to Vegas, and then, through a whole bunch of politics and backstabbing, actually try to prevent them from actually moving. And it also starred two great actors that... One of them I've always seen in things, but one I don't think I've seen in years. We had Christopher McDonald and Steve frickin' Gutenberg. When was the last time Steve Gutenberg was ever in anything? And he played such a bastard, but a lovable bastard at best. And we also had Steven Weber on the show, too. A really good group of supporting cast members to make this not one of the stronger seasons, but definitely one of the more interesting seasons. So if you are a fan of sports, and you haven't started watching Ballers yet, especially if you were a fan of a show like Entourage. I can't stress to watch Ballers enough. But the next show that we got to talk about, and I think you all were waiting for me to start talking about this, is the seventh season of Game of Thrones. Yeah, we have not really had strong seasons because they just dragged and dragged and dragged, but when you turn a season into a seven to eight episode long season, yeah, you're basically going to get a whole bunch of stuff thrown at you and a whole bunch of things to talk about. And we have got everything from the coming war with the... White Walkers to the origin story of Jon Snow, which is something that a lot of people actually sort of saw coming, but it was definitely a great season to watch. My favorite thing about this show was just seeing all the Stark kids finally getting reunited with each other again after being away from each other for so long, thinking that they were left for dead. Every single character had such a positive role to play, and it was just great to actually see this show come together so 
beautifully in such a short amount of episodes. And unfortunately, the next season will be the last, but I think it's going to be one of the best series finales of television history. And if that doesn't happen, because unfortunately, we've been disappointed with a lot of the recent HBO shows... I don't know what they're planning for Game of Thrones after. Some say there's a prequel series coming out. Some people are saying that this series will conclude in a big full-length feature film. But all I'm saying is if Season 8, the final season of Game of Thrones, does not end in an epic fireball of glory, I am going to be one pissed-off little lawn gnome. Anyway, that's all i got to say about HBO and Showtime. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next TV Sweeps episode. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.